Yellow, Ralph McIntyre with Astro Map Links. Well, I'm here to do another video in my video series, Ask an Astrologer. Deer in the Headlights asks about Sun in Aries, opposite Pluto in Libra, and that Pluto's out of sign conjunct Saturn in Scorpio. We're also talking about a moon in Cancer, conjunct the Nader in Gemini, opposite Neptune, south node in Sagittarius. It appears that Jupiter's in Sagittarius. We got Venus in Gemini. So we got a lot of things to talk about. This is kind of a hard one for me to th visualize in the sky, so to speak. It's much easier for me to see this on a chart. But anyways, I'm going to dive into it. Before I do that, though, all you new people, please click like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. There's a link in the description to get a reading from me where I dive deep into your evolutionary intent of your astrology. All right. Well, deer in the headlights, I'm going to do my best to kind of scratch the surface on this. Um, there's a lot going on here, so I'm not going to be able to take all of it on. The first thing you ask about this mystic rectangle, which, you know, in astrology, there's so many different ways to look at astrology. There's so many different techniques. There's so many different labels put, people put on configurations. And I kind of take much more of a heart-centered approach, so I'm not as technical on some of the terms. So I'm not aware of a mystical rectangle. But I can definitely dive into what I see. So I want to start with that sun in Aries because I think that's going to help a lot. And also, I don't really use the um, asteroids much past Chiron, so I'm not going to talk much about Vista. But I don't think it's going to matter. I think I'm going to kind of get to the juxt of what we need to talk about. So that sun in Aries. The sun's the main energy of your birth chart. Aries is that kind of... You know, first sign, you know, it's all about me. The sun's all about me. The sun is the great authoritarian of the birth chart. So on some levels, this chart is about a soul that's getting here to make its needs a priority, put itself as the priority. And so from there, I want to jump to that south node. The south node in Sagittarius... Um, which we also have Neptune and Jupiter there. And this is on the midheaven is what I'm getting here. And so often when you're super sensitive with that Cancer moon, very likely you are, with that Neptune conjunct the south node in Sagittarius, definitely a very sensitive, aware of. And Sagittarius is what I know. You know, and so often when you're a nice human being, so to speak, in which most people are, and you're aware of all this stuff, you'll end up taking it on in a way, in a way that's self-sacrificing. And this is where I want to jump off. This is where I want to jump off and I want to jump in at the same point. So that sun in Aries, Aries is not about self-sacrificing, so Aries is about self-assertion. I'm here, this is my body, this is my life, this is what I want, I get, I take. And we're not talking from a lower ego, we're talking from a higher ego. And so it's like a mystic, you know? A mystic is a kind of an interesting term, I like that term, especially for this chart. Um, but here's the deal with the mystic. You know, the mystic is down in the trenches taking on everyone's energy, which that Cancer Moon will if it's not careful. That South Node and Sag with the, the um, Neptune and Jupiter there. We're talking about energies that are all like taking on other people's energies, taking on other people's beliefs, all this stuff. And from the mystic's perspective, you know, I think about those monks up in the caves in Tibet.
you know, isolated from the craziness of the world. So on some levels, this is what I would want to do for you is help you realize that it's all right to isolate yourself from the craziness of the world. All that sensitivity you have isn't necessarily to help other people. And when I say that, I mean from a one-on-one -on -one perspective, so to speak, get into the, the trenches and kind of get distracted. Versus if you use that sensitivity to connect into the divine, if you protect your psychic space, psychic boundaries. And this is where I want to talk a little bit about that Saturn in Scorpio. I think most people are going to miss that because Scorpio is the hidden truce. If you look at the moon kind of as your emotional needs, you know, in cancer, it's a very watery, very permeable moon. But that Saturn Scorpio is talking about the unseen world and needing to have boundaries, Saturn. So all those areas where, you know, people are affecting you, so to speak, with their energy. And the more you protect yourself from that, the more you keep that Pluto and Libra, because on some levels that Pluto and Libra wants to relate. And the easiest way to relate with people is to take care of them or take on all their stuff. You know, and it being a super cancer moon there, with that Pluto and Libra, it's going to have a tendency for you to do that. And so by focusing on protecting yourself, using psychic boundaries, um, in my, on my YouTube channel, there is a playlist and on the playlist, there's a meditation playlist. And in that meditation playlist, there's two videos one is a candle clearing and one is a clearing meditation. I would highly recommend both of these for you. And so that North Node in Gemini, and I apologize if I get some of this a little off. Um, it's a lot to kind of hold on as I talk at the same time, because I kind of get out of my mental state, get drop more into my heart when I talk about astrology. So that North Node in Gemini is wanting you to open up to possibilities. South Node in Sagittarius is going to be like, be careful to not lock yourself into what you know. So anytime you're taking on something that's depleting you, anytime you're taking on someone's energy in a way that's depleting you, it's not sustainable. And so that Gemini is wanting you to kind of look at other ways to deal with it. You know, and one easy way to do is prayer. You know, someone wants you to take something on for them rather than taking on the energy, rather than getting involved with it in the physical world. Pray for it in the spiritual world would be my suggestion. All right, I hope you liked this video. Please click like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, thank you very much. Have a spectacular evening.